Hi, I'm Dr. Tiffany, and I'm here with your travel tips for the holidays. So a lot of people are going to some really fabulous places, which unfortunately involve some long flights or long car trips, but I've got tips for you that are gonna save your body. So first, a lot of people don't know this. When you're flying, you can get up. You know, you can get up, and I suggest you get up every hour. You get up as soon as that um, seatbelt sign comes off, get up and walk to the bathroom. And while you're doing that, just stand there for a little bit. And this little motion right here, so simple, right? This saves those little muscles that go straight up your back. And while you're sitting for a long time, they get all compressed. This will help release them and make it to where you're not gonna have a back spasm when you get off the plane. But while you're doing that, be really careful. Your body has been compressed in this little seat. You know if they could, they'd put people on our lap, right? So it's been compressed. You don't want to do a lot of twisting. Be really gentle and slow with this. But getting up every hour. The other thing you can do, there are these things called compression socks. Nike makes great compression socks. It's usually in their running se section, and that helps bring the blood back up to your heart. Another company that makes great compression socks is Fig, so either one of them are gonna be great for you. Stay hydrated. Even though a lot of us were worried about having to get up too much on the plane, that water is actually gonna help you not only prevent muscle cramping, but it's also gonna help your immune system because you're being exposed to all sorts of different things, right? And we know that water is really important for our, our health. I'd also like to strongly suggest against sleep aids. A lot of people, they'll take some sleep aids, jump on the plane and try to sleep the whole time. When we take sleep aids, that includes muscle relaxers, you will stay in one position too long and probably feel really bad the next day after the flight. So no sleep aids. The only type of sleep aid I like to use when I'm traveling is melatonin, and that helps with the time change when you're jumping time zones. But with those tips, you're gonna have a great trip, and happy holidays.